Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making a custom order of six B resin coasters. The first thing I'm doing is mixing in my part A and part B resin together, and in this video, I'm using Deepon's Epoxy Blast 3D B20 Jewel Cast, which is a 2 to 1 ratio by weight. I'll leave a link with a discount code in my description if you want to give them a try. And I pour a small amount of clear resin into each mold. Then I mix up my white pigment and I'm using Casting Crafts White. Then I just pour the white pigment on top of my clear resin already in the mold and use a silicone makeup brush to help spread and blend those two together to give it a nice foggy look. And this is a very thin layer because I will be doing several layers. I allow that layer to harden and come back the next day. I'll be using these broken shell pieces which I just separate into smaller cups and I have a whole video on how to change the color of shells or glass or anything that you might need for your resin art and I'll leave a video linked above. I start off with this yellow mica powder by Resin Pro and start to add it into one of my cups. For my next cup, I'm using Deepon's Nighthawk Pearl Black Mica Powder. And to make sure that the mica powder sticks to my broken shells, I'm using some adhesive spray. I also decided to add some of Liquitex's yellow acrylic ink. Then I also added Deepon's alcohol ink in the shade Mocha. And into those same cups, I'm adding in some crushed glass pieces, which will give them a nice shine and sparkle. And I start off by working on this one mold to kind of get an idea of how I'm going to go about this. And I start by adding on my black shells. I place them sort of in a thick line and then add in my yellow shells. And from there I rotate. The silicone makeup brush really helps to put everything into place and moves them a lot easier than a wooden stick would. Once I have the body in place, I'm using Pebio's Black Relief Outliner to draw on the legs and the wings. And like always, I'll have links to all of the products that you see in this video linked in my description. Now that I'm happy with how the first one turned out, I move on to do the same thing on the rest of my coasters. So I've seen that YouTube has a membership option which would allow me to give exclusive perks and more detailed videos and tutorials for those who are members and I just wanted to see if that would be something that some of you would be interested in and receiving more detailed and longer tutorials that really go into the step-by-step -step process for a monthly fee of being a member. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I didn't want to leave the wings empty, so I take these very small glass pieces and with a spoon, I carefully try to place them inside of where I outlined the wings.
Then I mix in my resin once more to seal everything in. I separated some of my clear resin into a different cup so that I can add in my gold leaf flakes. And I start to pour into the molds and I'm pouring very slowly and carefully to make sure that I don't mess up the placement of any of the shells. I pour as much as I can to try and cover as much of the shells as possible. Then I add in my gold leaf flakes onto the bottom of the molds. I use a wooden stick to help adjust their placement. I'm using a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and I always move my torch gun very quickly so that I don't burn my resin or my molds. I realized that when I poured in my resin, those very small glass pieces that I used to fill in the wings sort of disappeared and I wanted to be more visible so instead I decided to add on more of these broken shell pieces but in their original color. And again I use a wooden stick to help adjust their placement. Here I am the next day demolding. I used an X-Acto knife to get rid of any lifted edges and then prepared them for a top coat. I have a whole detailed video on how we prepare our coasters for a top coat so if you're interested in seeing that I'll leave a video linked above. Then I mixed in my resin for my top coat. And when I'm working with Deepon, when I top coat coasters, I love to use honey resin, which is just perfect for these bee coasters. And again, I'll have that linked in my description if you want to give it a try. Here I am the next day removing the liquid latex. Using a gold adding marker, I added on my gold trim. And here's the final product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.